Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to the F1 Word and to, let's say, some breaking news this morning. McLaren has announced that Lando Norris will be staying with the team for 2022, which means their driver lineup is already tied down. Now, Norris, who made his F1 debut with the team in 2019, has since gone on to secure two podium finishes. And let's face it, has had a very strong start to 2021 and has now gone on to sign what is described as a multi-year deal, which will see him stay with the team for 2022 and beyond. As always, I'll give my reaction to all of this in a few, but let's start with the news, or at least what everyone has to say about it. There is no word at time of recording on the specifics of the contract length, all they keep saying is long-term, but you would assume it is for at least next year and 2023, given that's what Ricardo is reportedly signed up for. Either way, Norris is, as you might expect, very pleased to be staying with the team and in the press release goes on to add, Having been with the team for almost five years, I feel very much part of the family and I couldn't imagine starting the next phase of my career anywhere else. McLaren has been a huge support since my days in junior series and I've really enjoyed learning and developing as a driver since. My goal is to win races and become world champion and I want to do that with this team. We have already had some incredible moments together which I'll never forget and together with Daniel and the rest of the team, I'm looking forward to pushing for even more success in the years to come. And that was added to by McLaren CEO, Zach Brown, who is quoted as saying, I am delighted with the extension of our agreement with Lando for 2022 and beyond. He's been instrumental in our return of form here at McLaren and we are proud of the growth he's shown since he first started with us back in 2017. Lando is one of the brightest talents on the F1 grid and we look forward to seeing him continue to go from strength to strength both on and off track. There we have it then, McLaren's 2022 lineup is all confirmed and this was a very smart move for all involved in my view anyway. First of all, from Norris's perspective, where else was there really? Mercedes was never going to take him because if they do decide to replace Bottas, they have their own drivers to bump up and Hamilton already seems keen on extending his stay into next year as well. Ferrari already has Leclerc and Sainz confirmed for next season and I can't see how or why Norris would want to take what is currently a step back to Alpine or somewhere like Aston Martin, for example. Way too much uncertainty there. All right, maybe if Perez struggled in that second Red Bull, there might have been an option there. But does he really want to hop into the poison chalice, as some people call it, that is the second Red Bull seat? Yeah, okay, he would likely be in a car that can challenge for wins and podiums in theory but we've already seen the likes of Gazi and Albon struggle and the jury is still out on Checo right now. Would he want to take that risk? The truth is, maybe not for wins, but he is up there most weekends right now and McLaren is a team on the up. With the big rule changes coming next year and with the way they have progressed over the last couple of seasons, McLaren could well be the place to be for 2022 and may well even be one of the teams to beat. Who knows? Really good call in my opinion from Norris's side of things. And to be fair from the team as well, they know what talent and potential Norris has, and he has already shone since debuting a couple of seasons ago. He is a driver that they can really build around for the future. And just going back to 2022, that is the big talking point this year, isn't it? Getting that lineup sorted means they can now focus on the future. It's one less thing to worry about when they've got plenty to work on later in the year. It just gives them that stability, and having a driver on board who knows the team inside out can only be a benefit for next year and beyond. All in all, it is great news for Norris and McLaren, and assuming they continue to move forward, it could be great news for us fans too. Obviously all speculation at this point, but the more the merrier at the front of the grid. I have seen a few people question the timing of this, but again, with 2022 looming large, it makes a hell of a lot of sense in my view to get this all sorted now. As I say, it's one less thing to have to deal with in what will be a very busy second half of the season on and off track. The calendar is jam-packed and the teams are going to be working on next year's car. Why worry about the contracts? And I guess as well, ultimately, if both parties are happy and have no intention of going their separate ways, why keep putting it off? And actually, to be fair, not that different to the timing when they confirmed Ricardo alongside Norris this time last year. Obviously, very different circumstances with that one, though. That is it for this quick news reaction video then. But you can, as always, let me know your thoughts on McLaren's decision in the comments section down below. Do you agree that this is the right call or do you think McLaren or Norris should have perhaps held off until they knew what was happening elsewhere in the driver market? Now, I will be back later today, actually, with the Monaco Grand Prix preview. But in the meantime, if you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like as it really helps give the channel a little boost. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads. But as ever, thank you for watching. I've been Sean. This has been the F1 Word. And until next time, goodbye.